Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of the best of 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch is brought to you by Susanna Lee. And I like the simplicity of this one, and it is the perfect layout to use these embellishments that I made the other day. I apologize that the beginning of this got cut off. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what I did. I had a little bit more of that mixed media paper that I used the other day. And that was one that was in my bin of uh, scraps. I cut everything to be one and three quarter inches wide. And then I took three pieces of paper here. The green one is offset to the left. The yellow is offset to the right. And then the blue one, it, it shows the top and bottom and not on the left or right. So that is um, one way of doing layering. I really like the way that it looks, especially if you don't have full sheets of paper. So all of those are from my scrap bin. And then I just used my 18 inch ruler to go ahead and line up those three pieces of paper in the background. And um, as you saw there, I had to cut them because they weren't a complete 12 inches across, but I wanted them to span the distance. So underneath the photos, there is no paper. Um, it's just leaving a gap there. And the one that has the dark green on it, you can see that I oriented it so the dark green is at the top on one side and at the bottom on the other. I really liked these embellishments for this layout because the photos are of Noah and one of his little friends sitting outside waiting for the trash truck to come. There's, um, it's kind of a, a, a little thing that they do and um, they are sitting on this pillar in front of the house and they know the trash truck is coming. It's a cul-de-sac so uh, he's already come up the other side. They ran outside. Um, I set them up on the pillar so they can watch the trash truck down the street as he dumps everybody else's trash and they get a good view as he comes by her house. And um, they have, he has, the trash man has actually stopped and given them trash truck t-shirts and such and the kids just love it. So I really liked these embellishments for it because I really liked the idea of the arrows indicating movement and the trash truck going one direction and then coming back and going the other direction. And so I thought they were perfect for that. Um, there is a little bit of uh, post-it note over her photo because uh, she is not my child or related to me. So I don't, I usually don't like to put photos of other people's kids on my channel so my apologies for that but you do get to see the trash can you see their little backs looking at looking out waiting for him to come and then him coming by I did use some label stickers in the upper right hand corner there to create a little cluster of uh, where I can do a little bit of journaling and then I went ahead and off camera I ran these dies through the uh, what I'm using is a tonic tangerine. It's like a big shot, but it's the tonic version of it. Um, and I am creating a title that says trash truck love. <laughs> and so, uh, because these kids, they love the trash truck and, you know, I don't know what toddler doesn't actually. So it seems to be a big draw. So I'm cutting them in both yellow and in black because it cuts an outline or it cuts, yeah, it cuts an outline and then it also cuts the center of the letter. And so the outline is going to be in yellow and then the inside is going to be black. So you have to run them through twice. Um, I will put the name of these dies down below. I think I want to say these are a scrapbook.com die, but I can't be certain of that. I don't have them in front of me, but I will, um, I will put the name of it down below. Uh, the little tiny dies that I'm using are from uh, Paper Roses. And so I am creating the words trash truck in the little tiny letters. And I'm really liking the way that those cut and that they work. They are um, just a really nice font, very easy to read. And so that makes them really nice to work with. So I went and looked and they are called downtown that the font that says love and they are from scrapbook.com. So again, link will be down below for you if you're interested in that. So what one thing that I really liked about this and what I was looking for when I was trying to decide what font to use was that the, uh, the word love, the letters are kind of wide. So I would be able to put the word trash above the L and the O and truck above the V and the E. And I spaced them kind of close together, the, the trash truck. So I ended up with a space in the middle because 
I started with the T in trash and worked towards the right, and then I started with the K in truck and worked towards the left, and that left me with kind of a large gap in the middle, which I didn't really plan on, um, but I found a solution, and I found a little heart sticker in the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane stickers, and so that's what I'm going to stick in there, and I, it works really well, but um, note to self, you know, space them out ahead of time before you start gluing and, and don't just rely on the gap being just the right size. So one thing I do really like about this font, it's, it's actually the first time I've used it, um, but I like that I can put the black in the middle because if I just had used yellow, it probably would not have shown up as well on that mixed media paper, but because the black is in the middle, it really kind of makes it pop more. So I think that's kind of a cool thing about this, this font. Um, if, if you are into fonts like I am, I would, uh, definitely recommend this one just to be something different. Um, the other nice thing is you could use just the inside of the letters and they are super narrow. You can see them to the uh, upper right hand corner there of this, of my layout. They're super narrow, so you can get some really fine detail. Um, and as always, I do stick a little glue on the back of my hand to dip the little tiny letters in. And uh, that works really well for me because it's very handy. It's like so close and I don't have to like worry about setting something in the glue if it's on my mat or something like that. So here you can see I did kind of, kind of place those a little bit tight together. So again, um, plan out your spacing a little bit better than I did but it all worked out in the end because like I said I was able to find that little heart to go right in between the two letters and it worked perfectly because uh, a heart with the word love right below it works great. Um, I will remind you there are a lot of people playing along with 30 days and uh, there is a link for a playlist down below where you can find all of the videos that are um, created for this series or this round of this series so go and check that out there's also a link to my own personal Facebook group if you are interested in joining me over there I'd love to have you uh, join and um, all the links to products that I'm using again will be down below so here's that little heart that I was able to find I might I might go back and pop that up onto some white paper just so you can see it a little bit better, but in person you can actually see it quite well. So it'll be in the close-ups coming up in just a moment. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can hit that thumbs up if you did. And don't forget you can always leave me comments or questions down below. I am happy to respond to those. I don't respond daily, but I will respond uh, at some point. So hang in there if you're looking for a response. Um, I will be back again tomorrow with another video and I thank you so much for spending time with me today. I know there are tons of videos out there that you could choose to watch and I just feel uh, blessed that you chose to watch my video. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.